Uh, so hi everyone. Today we'll try to understand how we can integrate YouTube videos and YouTube playlists into your Streamlit web app. So let's get started. So first of all, I will be talking on how we can integrate YouTube video. So first of all, you need to pip install this particular package that is Streamlit underscore player, which is actually as pip install Streamlit hyphen player. So once you do that, then from that Streamlit player, as you can see, third import, you need to import st underscore player. And then it's very easy st underscore player and then you need to provide a url of your youtube video straight away and eventually you will can see that youtube video getting embedded into your streamlit web app the second point that i was talking about is to how to embed a playlist so this is something interesting so basically a playlist already ha always had a code with itself any playlist has a unique code with itself so eventually first of all you need to figure out what is that code is so once you open any video uh, from that particular playlist, you can see there is a code list equal list equals to uh, some random alphabets. So that is the code for your playlist. Now, once you get that playlist, you need to use this particular URL. For example, if I show you uh, my playlist URL, so here you can see that these are the URL, uh, these are the code for my playlist. So here you can see that there is a code PLNH to PF. For the playlist SQL, for reinforcement learning, there is a separate code. For probability instead, there is a separate code. So likewise, you would also be having a code for your playlist. Once you are able to get that, use this particular URL. And then eventually use this particular iframe uh, tag from HTML. Here you can see the iframe, iframe underscore uh, iframe space id equals to YouTube player, YT player. Type equals to text uh, forward slash HTML. Width and height you can adjust according to yourself, providing the source equals to the URL. So you all remain the same, just the list equals to the final parameter that you're passing. It has to be the code for your playlist. Frame border again, you can choose and allow full screen. Now, uh, using that, uh, after that, using streamlit.components.v1.html. There is a particular feature in the streamlit package. You need to use this and provide this HTML. So here you can see the HTML format I've done. So I'm trying to uh, feed in this playlist uh, from the csv file but if you have just one playlist you can directly provide it in this particular uh, source so using st.components.v1.html you you can integrate this playlist you can provide the width and height and scrolling you can check out whether you wish to keep it scrolling or non-scrolling so once you are done with this so i will be showing you how these two videos got integrated on my web page so yeah so there is a particular playlist that has got integrated so here you can see that in case of a playlist you can get an extra option at the top right so once you click on that you can see all the particular option all the particular videos in that particular playlist so it's a uh, playlist on generative modeling now second is permutation testing so this is a particular sample video that we added so here you can see that there is no particular playlist option coming here so this is the difference between the two in this you get a top right option uh, for getting the other videos from the playlist and in the sample video that we integrated using ST player, uh, this the video gets integrated. Now I will try to show you that particular code for a playlist. So once you open any particular playlist, I will be opening one of my playlists, for example, this one, SQL. So here you can see that list equals in this particular URL. This is the code for your playlist. So eventually, you need to open a playlist and then eventually any of the videos will be having this particular code list equals to this and that like similarly if you open some other video also here you can see that the, the list equal to parameter is something that you need to get uh, and index equals to 2 is not required because it is the second video of the uh, playlist that is why you are getting an extra parameter but this is the particular code that we are interested in to fetch out a playlist 